What is going on guys? Unite the Clans here back in your life with another episode of Minecraft building with UTC. I'm UTC and we're actually not gonna do any building today. I got my eyes set on an adventure. Since the start of season two, since Minecraft 1.9, uh, we really have focused on building and uh, making that the focus of just about every episode in this series and that's going to continue to be the case but every once in a while we need to shake it up and we need to go exploring. You got a quick peek at the big tree we've been working on and now I really want to deck out the interior of that sort of temple of nature, that tree temple that we've been working on building and am I starving? Yes, I am. We are successfully surviving now off pumpkin pie, which is awesome. That was the plan all along. It's going to be the main cuisine of the, the hollow Grovers, and, uh, and it's good food source. So the plan today, I have, like I mentioned, I'm dedicated to decking out the interior of our big religious building, that big hollowed out hill. I've been doing lots of work on it, but I will show you that next episode. This episode, what we're going to do is we are going to set sail. For the open sea oh hi bunny uh and take a look at this map somewhere out there these little green dots in between here and ocean's gate some of those are wildflower islands and i think i'm gonna go really nature crazy when it comes to the wait where's my boats at we might just have to make a boat uh we're gonna go have a real nature theme to the interior decoration there we go i'll take that maybe i'll take these should i take fishing rod hmm no we're good pumpkin pie for days uh and i only brought one boat should i grab the other boat let's be smart about this let's be very smart about this don't want to get stranded at sea with a broken boat all right and uh i'm gonna be recording on the fly today guys it'll be very few breaks and cuts like we had so many of last episode we're just gonna set out and uh see what kind of trouble we can get into i am um I'm ready for a good recording session. I've had a super relaxing day. Just sort of took a me day. I really, I don't do that very often. I always force myself to do something, stay productive in one way or the other. And I really just let go today. I, we did think, not Thanksgiving, what am I talking about? We did a big Easter dinner uh, last night with my family, sort of my extended family got everybody together and we cooked up a ham. It was sort of potluck, everybody brought a little something, but I hosted it for the first time. So we had, I think, eight people, including myself, at my house for a little Easter Sunday uh, dinner. I had to get the day off work, but once I did, it was, uh, it was a day of cooking, a day of, uh, you know, it was still pretty relaxing. Uh, we don't stand on ceremony with my family. We're a pretty chill group. Uh, we've sort of, we don't see the family who isn't chill anymore, and that sort of makes life, you know, nice and simple. There's nothing to, uh, there's no fights, no bickering, no quarreling. None of that stuff happens when I get together with the family I get together with at Christmas, and that's the crew that we had together for Easter. It was pretty great. Um, and so today, today is like my hangover day. Not hangover, because we did it in the afternoon, and to be honest, I didn't drink a crazy amount, but uh, oh, we, I think we need to be further north. Maybe that's our problem. Whoa, 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 get this boat in line. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're getting there. Um, yeah, I know there's flower islands just covered in flowers. That might be one up there. Doesn't look it from a distance. It's hard to tell. That's okay. We're going to find it. We're definitely going to find it. Um... So today I, I took my I took my time. I took it easy, laid in bed with my dogs late into the morning. Um, got up, cup of coffee, still didn't force myself to do a whole lot of anything. I'm mainly looking for the double tall flowers, but I see some of these paper white looking ones. So maybe we can pull up on this little cow island. Uh, all right, and we'll start uh, collecting some flowers and whatnot. Um, and uh, I am now having a super relaxing evening. I've been thinking all day about recording, and I just haven't quite been in the mode. Um, and now I am. I'm sitting down with a glass of wine, which I never do when I'm recording. We've got a lovely Pinot Noir from a bottle we opened at, uh, at uh, dinner yesterday. And, um, and I'm setting out to play a little Minecraft. And I've mentioned this. I think I probably said it in the last video. 
the people that watch this series, you guys feel a little bit like family to me. Uh, my life, pretty good, and I have the free time to do this, to put out daily episodes of Let's Plays and, oops, and, uh, and somehow a few people actually watch them, and there is nothing in my life I could be happier about than that, is that I get to do this with my free time. It's honestly a pretty great way to spend that free time and uh, I get to connect with all kinds of cool people because of it. Now just a little update for those of you that watch everything I put out on this channel. Maybe you're watching the Ark Survival Evolved series. That is on a forced hiatus. I can't get onto our server. I can't get onto the server that I've been playing with and not to mention Felris who is the young YouTuber who convinced me to come back to Ark and play with him on the server hasn't really been doing a whole lot on the server. So I've been alone on there most of the time when I was online. And uh, now that I can't get online, I don't know what to do. Now that I want to keep playing Ark. A lot of a lot more people are watching Ark than are watching this Minecraft series. So I don't plan on oh, it's nighttime. Uh, I may have to hole up for the night. We'll see. Maybe I'll I'll hurry out here. We'll put out a bunch of torches and we'll see if we can avoid freaks spawning all around us okay let's let's get in gear like i said torch the hell out of it at least a little area we'll defend it from the darkness oh this is the island i was looking for this is what i wanted yeah we're gonna fill the interior of that temple with all kinds of good uh uh flowers and vines and ferns and long grasses and we'll maybe even have a few things growing in there but i don't want it to be a big food production building uh, okay, we almost, I mean, we didn't do it, but we definitely lit up a good chunk of this place. All right, so why don't I get to work chopping some of these flowers down, taking a few of them, uh, back to the base. Um, and I think we're going to avoid the creepers and skellies for the most part tonight. Uh, they don't seem to be too bad right now, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I am collecting these not only for the temple, but I'm thinking about a banner or banners. Uh, maybe one for Ocean's Gate, one for Hollow Grove, and one for any other settlement we build along the way here. Um, and I've been working out some neat ideas. Hi, Skelly. Keep your distance, fool. Keep your distance unless you want your face chopped. Just get obliterated. Get obliterated. What did I tell you? All right, cool. Guys, why don't you uh, give me a minute, uh, and I will come back with you in the morning once I've survived the danger of the night on this gorgeous little flowery island. This is a nightmare island. It's almost sunrise. We're counting down the time. Uh, as you can tell, the moon about to set, therefore the sun about to rise. I am sort of besieged up here. I've been doing my best to pick these fools off throughout the night. And now I'm counting on daybreak to burn up at least the zomboids and the skellies. Get blasted, fool. Get blasted. Okay, so as soon as I can manage, as soon as it seems like these guys are getting burnt up by daylight, I'll hop down and try and... I don't know what happened there. I'm gonna run out of arrows. Down to 28. Oh, jeez. Okay. This is a... This is dangerous. You know what we do? You know what we do? We just do a better plan. Don't look at that guy. There they go. They're burning up. Ready? There we go. We'll just glide down to our end of the island down here. Okay. Any of you fools brave enough to follow? I didn't think so. Oh, yeah, you are. Hi. Get blasted. Stupid, stupid spider. Get destroyed. All right, I'm going to finish collecting a few more flowers, and then we'll uh, we'll set back. I think we'll probably finish this episode um, by collecting these flowers. And in the next one, I know we're almost definitely going to be building the... Come on. All right, we're fine. Uh, we're going to be doing up the interior of this giant temple, the big tree building, the hollowed-out hill with the giant holy tree on it that we've been working on the last couple of episodes. And um, I know I mentioned in the first half, Ark is taking a little break. I want to bring it back. Like I said, more people watch that than watch this series. And as much as I, I love you freaks who watch this one, more people watching is a good thing for my channel. So 
Uh, I'm definitely gonna attempt to get myself back to Ark, but I think what I need, what I need is a server full of professional or semi-professional YouTubers, people who are sorta on my level and aren't gonna flake out on me and server's not gonna disappear and all that kind of stuff. What I really need, whoa, hi, idiot. He just potioned himself. I don't like tangling with witches if I can avoid it. Yes, okay. I don't want to just, like, strip this island bare. I'm going to leave as much of this. Oh, shoot. I think he's poisoned me. Idiot. Idiot. Okay. This is not going to be fun. All right, let's head for my boat. I think we have a decent supply of stuff now. Let's get moving. Uh, stupid. Stupid witch. Are you going to make me fight you? Are you going to? Yes. Get shot. Get shot. He just potioned himself. Get shot. Yeah, keep healing. Keep healing. We'll see how long you can last, fool. All right, that was a splash potion of something. That's fine. That's fine. We're not going to die. We're just going to come very, very close to dying. Uh, okay, let's head for the boat, and we will set sail back for home. I think that's a pretty good stock of stuff in my inventory. I know where this place is now if I do want to come back. Let's make sure we're not going to die. All right. Yeah, this is going to be annoying, isn't it? All right, let's just hop in the boat and we'll set sail. So yeah, expect as soon as I can find a cool group of YouTubers who are playing ARK to play with, expect that series to return. But in its current form, damn, unless that server hops back online and I can count on Felris to play with me, then I don't know, guys. I'm not planning on... Uh, stuff our faces here the food bar is missing then i don't have a plan to get back but i do want to get back um i also spent part of my day today my lazy relaxing day today as i now relax and record this episode for you guys uh i spent part of that day playing the new game planet coaster now it is in its alpha super super early but this is the spiritual successor to the roller coaster tycoon franchise and i'm sure you guys have heard of that uh so with that being said uh i'm i'm just hoping that this game lives up to my hopes and expectations now i bought in in the earliest stages it is in alpha right now and it is far from a finished game um so i still have to work out how and when i'm going to bring it to the channel but i definitely want to bring it to the channel uh, my first impressions are that it is very cool and it's going to offer a ton of flexibility for a creative minded builder such as myself oh we are on our way back home there you go that is the continent of Hollow Grove, and we just need to head further south along this coastline. I still have my view distance down. I'm having the most annoying problems with Minecraft crashing, and uh, I'm just going to leave it on this short view distance. When you're out here in the frozen area, it doesn't look that bad anyway. It looks like it might be some you know, snowstorm blowing in or some of the, the haze and the mist that you do see in the winter uh, over frozen ground. I think it looks all right, but um, when you are, you know, if we were back at Ocean's Gate, I might need to get this view distance cranked up. But for the time being, it's going to work. We should get a great view. We might get a great view. I don't know if it's too far from shore. I was going to say, I'm hoping we get a view of that big tree, the one we've been working on. At the very least, we'll head back there. I'll give you the tiniest peek on the inside of that big building. Uh, so you can see what is coming for you next episode, and then I'll let you guys go. And in the next episode, we will start decking out, decorating, designing, and landscaping the inside of that build. It's going to be so cool. We're going to build it in the same style we've done the rest of Hollow Grove, uh, underground, in tune with nature, except instead of, you know, having sort of farming around like we do in this first village where there's sugarcane and uh, admittedly some wheat and uh, eggs and pumpkins and all that this is just going to be it's going to be like a botanical garden a holy botanical garden that's what i'm thinking this place is frozen and the food sources are really limited and if we can uh, hustle our way back 
to this place by the end of the episode, then I will show you the inside. We're really going to do it up. It's going to be cool. Uh, I still, uh, actually, I should say, since the last time you saw, I came through here and bone mealed. I bone mealed the crap out of this area. So now we got flowers and grasses and all that sort of thing. And I did take my shovel in a few spots and just do that. Add a little, add a little texture, uh, a little variation to the path like that. I like it. I actually love the way this looks on the edge of a block. Like if I were to do it, I can't do it up there. Right here. I love the way that looks. The color of that looks cool. Um, and I think we should almost be out at the, the big tree. We're going to have to name this building. I keep calling it like a temple of nature or a botanical garden, but it really is going to need a name. The big holy tree building. Anyway, if you if you guys have any, uh, any ideas, you hit me up with those. And then you know what I'm doing. You know that I'm going to be, over the next couple days, I'm going to be decorating the inside of this giant building, the one that resides underneath this mega tree that we built over the last couple episodes. Um, you know I'm going to be doing the interior, so if you have inspiration, hit me up on Twitter. I'm at Unite the Clans. Send me pictures of cool scenes of nature or, um, yeah, or cool Minecraft builds that might inspire this one. Uh, either way, we, we got a lot of work to do. So, it looks very different, I think, than the last time we were here. This wheat farm is just about ready to come out. And what I've done is sort of built raised pathways all on this same plane at the level of each of the doors with pathways running to each of the doors and towards this central complex of roots. And um, I've done that at a coarse dirt. And then on the sides of everything, I have dug it down, dug it down, and we've let the grass grow in there. And these are the areas that are gonna get all the landscaping, all the love, that are gonna get flowers and trees and vines and ferns and water fixtures. It's gonna be cool. So we'll have a little bit of that here, a little bit of that here. It's gonna be all over. I think for a while, I was hoping I could incorporate this uh, these minerals straight into the build, but I don't think they're gonna work in these big blocky forms that they're in now. If I have them like this, if I have them where they're really, they could be incorporated into the ground, I'll leave them. I think that looks cool. But as for these big ones, I think I'll probably take those out. And then um, we'll get to work adding in little waterfalls and I was hoping I might have a tree grow here. And then some of this will be water, some of it'll be grass, some of it will you know, trees or ferns or all kinds of stuff growing around here. Uh, I don't know if my vision, if I'm explaining my vision as clearly as it appears in my head, but either way, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Minecraft Building with UTC. I am Unite the Clans. Thank you guys for checking this one out. As I mentioned, I think of the people who are watching this series as my family, and I hope you guys enjoyed the uh long weekend if you got one and if you didn't i hope you got a little time with friends or at the very least some good food or a nice glass of pinot noir like i'm sipping on now geeks that's it i'm utc and i will see you in the next episode definitely a bit a big part of being human i think and and like early humans all seem to have this reverence for the world around them because it provided them with their food and their shelter and I, I think that's some of the ideas that we're trying to incorporate into this build